Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to the live. Uh, I'm, I'm back <laughs> and my apologies, I like to do it on Friday and uh, but uh, Monday is never too late, never too late to do the right thing. So first we're going to talk about God's precepts and beatitudes and first we're going to say a little prayer. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle on them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, you taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be truly wise and always rejoice in his consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So interestingly enough, I have been having mass that's left me a little perplexed. We talked uh, the other day or this morning or yesterday, I don't know, about the story of the mother whose favorite son, I think it was Jacob, um, and the father was blind and so she dressed him up in her older brother's clothes and with her older brother's hairy arms i think and then she presented to the father the younger brother as the older brother so that the father could bless him and give him uh, all the inheritance instead of the older one and so the priest explains that uh, that that some lying is passable as long as it's for a good reason or a good purpose such as looking good at work uh, as long as it's not to hurt another or to divide family or to get someone in trouble and so this was a little concerning because i don't think that there's any exceptions to the ten commandments that thou shalt not lie he did not say that shall not lie unless you feel justified to do so so you we should really have faith and if the lie causes us consequences then we accept it because we're willing to suffer for Christ and we we believe in him and we have faith and we know that he will take care of us no matter what as long as we're doing his will so another story was doubting thomas uh that he was defending doubting thomas on the feast day of doubting thomas not too long ago because it's it's good to have a little bit of skepticism that we should otherwise we would be easily fooled or something like that in his own words but actually god said if you love you believe all things and so he loved jesus he should have believed him uh, also his disciples he loved he should have believed them it's just on both scenarios jesus is showing us that people can make mistakes and that he's merciful as long as we realize we're wrong and we decide to sin no more and we are sorry and but it shows throughout the bible many bad things did happen and it's just to show humanity how we can be sometimes and how not to be and so then we we so to be in god's grace and for his his promises to realize we have to follow his precepts remember he says he holds nothing good back from those who love him and when we love our parents we obey them when we love our boss we do what he asks uh, to love is to love in every way and one of the ways is in loyalty and obedience it's very important and so in the book of saint matthew the beatitudes are as follows blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven also i wanted to say a little bit of skepticism why because if god asks us to love all each other to love everyone we should just believe who cares if we believe everyone because we love everyone and who cares if we're wrong at least we listen to our father at least we did the right thing no love lost but if we don't believe someone that we should 
it feels bad because we didn't listen to our father and so didn't God say we have to be like little kids to enter the kingdom of heaven does a little kid not believe everything everyone tells them blindly so isn't that what it is to have a pure heart not to be suspicious of one another not to assume and skepticism leads to judging so those are the issues I had with that okay so back to the Beatitudes um, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven so those who we if we think we're good and we have it all together that's uh, that's a little bit of pride I believe that we should believe that we are nothing and we're nothing without God and we have nothing good if not for him and if there's anything good of us it's God's blessing not by our own doing not by our works blessed are the meek that was that was verse three blessed are the meek for they shall possess the land and so if we're meek we're not suspicious of one another we don't complain and people think complaining is okay if if it's justified if it's something depending on what it is we need to complain if we try to be a louder voice or we are not good listeners or we are oppositional and it's sometimes we say it best when we say nothing at all blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted because God said if you follow me and you are my people you will have crosses you will have trials life will be hard it's part of your training it's because I care about you and I want to work with you because I want you to go to heaven and so these are the things that will sanctify you and these are the things that will be for the good of others as well and you will be comforted blessed are they who hunger and thirst for justice for they shall have their fill when you stand up for what's right when you fight for what's right and you're courageous and you expose evil you're doing God's will and justice is wanting good for others and also it's um, defending the vulnerable and letting people know warning them of dangers and making sure that not only you do the right thing but to look for one and to look out for one another whereas whatever you do for yourself you think of doing it for someone else too we don't realize that if we get a drink and we don't ask our kid if she needs a drink too then we're being selfish if we get vitamins and we don't offer it to everyone else in the family we're being selfish and we don't realize that anytime we do something for ourselves when it could have been done also for somebody else we're not thinking of others and other ways that are his precepts if we're not looking at someone when they're speaking we're not treating them the way they would like to be treated and things like that things to keep in mind that God isn't in the details um, blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy verse 7 it's important to be patient and forgiving with each other including ourselves because God knows that we're weak and it takes time it takes time to grow strong God has commanded us to be strong but strength is a blessing not a giving and only God knows through his good justice how you will obtain that strength but a good piece of advice pray as much as possible and the more I pray the stronger I get that might work for you blessed are the clean of heart they shall be they shall see God clean of heart means that we don't gossip we don't instigate we don't we're not skeptical skeptical of one another we're not suspicious of one another we believe one another we think good of things and we dismiss any negativity or any negative thoughts and we give everyone the benefit of the doubt and we we love truly we do everything with love 
and basically you emulate a small child as much as possible because you're the greatest example of the image of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. When we find all different ways to bring peace among people, among ourselves, to whenever somebody is in disagreement, find something that you can share in common, find uh, meet in, in common grounds. It's not about winning, it's about making the person feel loved. You don't have to win an argument, you just have to win their love. So be willing to lose, be willing to be humiliated, be willing to feel like you did not get hurt or you received no justice, that's fine. There's a bigger picture and we try not to miss the forest for the trees. So even when you sh feel like you shouldn't say sorry, when somebody's attacking you and you're the one saying sorry, so be it if it brings about peace. Blessed are they that suffer persecution for justice's sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And so we know some people that are trying to save others, that are trying to save this country and get attacked all the time. And they're suffering for justice. They're suffering for justice's sake. And if, if you notice that God's people, they are usually judged, not liked, hated. At least they're not the most power, popular person. Other God's children will recognize them and love them. But by many also, they will be hated and they will be persecuted. And they will, the devil will try to stop them because the devil doesn't like justice and he doesn't like what needs to happen to move forward. That is God's will that promotes God's values. And he tries to put a poor, um, put a wool over our heads so that we don't see what's good and we get deceived into thinking that what's bad that what is bad is good and what is good is bad and the only way that we can have that kind of discernment to just to know the difference is by prayer by prayer and commitment visiting God as much as possible seeking him in every way reading his word practicing his precepts living it not just professing it and sacrificing for righteousness be willing to sacrifice a lot of us have don't know what that is and we choose comfort over hard work and so we need to work on that and it's okay God God loves us and he's merciful not that he condones bad behavior but he will forgive us and take us back whenever we're willing to straighten out and do the right thing. And he will look after us when we're not and take care of us and protect us because we don't know how many things he protects us from just because it doesn't happen. Because he knows the future and he knows we have potential and he knows that we'll get there and he'll take us there. So don't worry, you still have a chance. It doesn't matter where you are, just keep trying something's got to give if you keep trying and so basically that's what it is is to follow God's precepts and God will show you wonders and give you wisdom to be able to say hey that which I heard in sermon that doesn't make sense and not and be able to call on God's word and remember God's word and what he said and realize that we're caving into the ways of the world not so much to the spirit and that is a blessing that God gives the more you try the harder you 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 take that narrow route not the wide one and and you pray because God is there for us every step of the way even through the hard times so if you're going through hard times actually be happy that means you're on the right track the devil doesn't like it <laughs> so but also you get stronger and it, whenever you pass that test uh, in goodwill 
then the more you sanctify, the closer you get to God. Because everything that the devil throws at you, the God turns into something good for the benefit of your soul and that of others. So stand your ground and keep up the good fight. God bless you and peace be with you.